it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv and yes of course I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing because we're at the quarterfinals of the World Starts Championship in the Alley Pally. It is day 13. We have four matches coming up today. There's two sessions. The first session starts at 12.30 this afternoon. The second session starts from 7pm this evening. So we have a feast of darts coming today and I have a feast lined up inside. I've got some alcohol and loads of snacky bits to enjoy it. So I'm going to be really lazy. It's Christmas and enjoy it all. Just before I go into the schedule and the predictions and all that sort of stuff, I just want to say that I'm really proud to be wearing this badge today in support of prostate cancer. I speak to Tracy from Team Darts and Danny Bolt and they're amazing. They're doing such a great job with this charity. Um, there's so many people supporting it now. You'll see a lot of the pro dart players have got one of these badges. Uh, Jeff Sterling on you know, the Soccer TV and on Soccer Saturday and all that sort of stuff. But there's so many people that are wearing it now. Now if you guys or anybody wants to get one of these badges and support it, you can actually go to, it's prostate, prostatecanceruk.org, but you can actually see that, you can see it there. So do go and check it out and support. It's an amazing charity that affects so many men. So well done to Tracy and Team Darts and everybody involved in that. So now what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm going to move on to my predictions and everything. They've been awful so far, a lot of them. Some of you guys, your comments are, are miles better than what I am. Um, so probably you guys should have to come on the video and we'll do some prediction ones. But let's have a look. Um, the first session starts at 12.30 this afternoon. So let's have a look. It is Jamie um, Lewis against Darren Webster. And then we've got Dimitri Vandenberg against Rob Cross. So first of all, I'm going to go through. I'm going to add the stats in like I always do. Just to just to make it a bit more interesting. And give my predictions. As always, don't bet on them guys. Because you'll all be bloody skint. <laughs> Right, so let's get let's get into it. So the first game we've got Jamie Lewis against Darren Webster. Now Jamie Lewis in the last round he beat James Richardson 4-1. Let's have a look. He had a free dart average of 96.25 and a checkout percent of 53.75. Where Darren Webster beat Alcina's 4-0. He had a free dart average of 94.54 and a checkout of 52.17. So it was not a huge amount difference in the averages here for these guys. But I have gone with I think this is going to go, it's going to be a nine set thriller. I think that Darren Webster is going to go through. I think he's got a bit more experience on the stage. Yes, Jamie Lewis was mind blowing against Peter Wright and he was good yesterday. But I'm, I'm just not sure that he's going to be able to do the same again this afternoon against Darren Webster. So for no other reason other than Darren Webster, and he's a local boy to me, I think he's going to win 5-4. We then go on to Dimitri Vandenberg against Rob Cross. Now, Dimitri has been absolutely amazing. Rob Cross, as we know, world class. Let's have a look how who they beat in the last round. Now, Dimitri beat Mencius Soljevic. I actually tipped Dimitri to beat Mencius yesterday. I could... I just had that feeling. Mensa was not at his best, not by any, you know, form or imagination or whatever that bloody saying is. I got that wrong as well. Um, but Dimitri beat him 4 0 yesterday. He had a free dart average of 90.66 and a checkout of 41.36. Now, he didn't need to have any more than that, like I say, because Mensa really didn't turn up. He looked out of sorts. Um, let's have a look. Rob Cross beat Hendo 4 1. He had a free dart average of 99.77 and a checkout percentage of 59.09. Cross for me can win it this year. I I was watching it yesterday. The, the way he breaks down the game, the way he evaluates every situation, the way he knows that he switches off slightly, the way he is going to correct. And he's already saying, you know, when he's at that stage. And it isn't going to be long. He is going to be up there competing for MVG. And, you know, I think that he will be winning his fair share of majors. And do I think he could win it this year? I do. I think that Rob Cross will, can win it. And that's why today I'm going, I think that Rob Cross will put Dimitri under pressure from the very first set. Dimitri will win some sets because he's a class player, but I've got Rob Cross to win this one 5-3. So they are my predictions for the afternoon session, guys. By the time we come to the evening session, I'll have probably had a few beers and some more snacks. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's go into that. Sorry, I'm just being silly. Um, so let's go into it. So we then go into the evening session. First up, we've got MVG against Raymond Van Barneveld. Now, this is going to be an absolute classic. Again, I've gone for a nine-set 
thriller. There's something about it. Barney always get himself up for the wells. It's always dangerous. Van Gerwen know that he's going to be dangerous today. And he's going to have to be on top form to pull this one out the bag. Because Barney is so driven when it comes to the wells. So let's have a look. Michael Van Gerwen beat Gerwen Price 4-2 in the last game. He had a free dart average of 100.16. The checkout of just 33.33. Um, Barney beat Vincent Van Der Voort. He had a free dart average of 101. 0 0.04 and a check out of 48.28 so as you can see there um barney's barney's checkout percentage was very very good van gerwin's gonna have to be on form if not barney will knock mvg out tonight can i see it happening i don't think it's going to this time and i think michael comes through this one five four we then go into the final match of the evening against phil the power taylor against gary anson the flying scotsman now I know that, obviously, in yesterday's game, and I have gone, as you can see, for Gary Anderson to win 5-3 and actually finish Taylor's career. I did a video on it earlier um, at the start of the tournament with Taylor's route to the final and where I think he'd go out. And I'm not going to change now because I'd be a hypocrite to do so. And I still believe that Anderson will win 5-3 this evening. However, as we see at the end of last night in his game against Steve West when he beat him 4-2... He didn't look right. He was missing a lot of doubles and he looked in pain. He didn't do the interview afterwards. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. If you guys have got any info on this or any updates or what you think, please let me know. Please do put them in the comments below as always. So if if he is injured, then Taylor is going to win it because he can't play Taylor. in. Nobody can in the world. It doesn't matter who you are. Um... Or how good you are. MVG, you know, you've got to be on form against Taylor. But if Anderson can sort himself out and be normal, I think that he's going to beat Taylor today 5-3. So as you can see, these are my predictions for that session. As always, guys, please, please do get involved. Leave your comments below. Um, and I'll come back to you as always. If you like the videos, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I'm not sure if some of you are aware, but I have got a Facebook group that I'm setting up called DartsPlanet.tv. If you go to Facebook and just go to DartsPlanet TV, it should come up. Feel free to join the group. I swear I'm going to be adding lots of videos. There's going to be lots of chat in there as well. Um, and just have loads of fun because it's what it's all about. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'll catch you tomorrow for the semi-finals. And until then, guys, bye.